What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be doing my very first what's in my wallet. And this is for the month of May 2019. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the video. What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint where we're all about credit, credit cards and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. So like I said, this is my very first what's in my wallet and it's kind of odd because I don't really carry a wallet. So I don't like how the wallet feels in my back pocket. I, I used to lose my wallet a lot when I was in college and you know, all that like, so I just kind of decided to get rid of it. And basically what I started doing was I started holding uh, my cards with my phone. So I have a spot right here that flips down. You can see, uh, you know, the, the cards that I normally keep with me on a regular basis. So anyways, so I don't have a wallet, but basically these are the cards that I use for the month of May. And so the first card I'm going to start with is my Amex gold card. And the reason for this is because it gets uh, 4X on dining and at US grocery stores. Um, so I like being able to maximize um, those whenever I get a chance to. Um, but you know, at, at the moment, I'm not really maximizing much on grocery stores just because I shop at uh, Sam's or Costco. But I am getting a good value out of the uh, dining. So 4X on dining is really good. And I also get good value out of the $100 airline fee credit, um, which I just recently had to call American Express to change it. They did allow me to change it. So uh, I'm changing it to Southwest for the moment. Um, just because Southwest, I think, can be a little bit more beneficial and it's cheaper to travel more places. Up next, guys, is gonna be my Chase Sapphire Preferred. And the reason why I would use this card is because um, this is just usually for any miscellaneous charges that I have. Um, that way, I'm still diversifying my points and still earning Chase points. But um, I do have another Chase card that I'm using at the moment and I will show you this one's actually getting more use than my Chase Sapphire Preferred but I like having it in there because it is a metal card and I just like the way it looks in there. Next up guys is going to be my Marriott Bonvoy Business American Express and the reason for that is because I can get uh, 4x on uh, US gas stations and seeing how I commute a lot to and from work um, on a daily basis I really do get maximum value out of these points and you know, again, like I said, I like to have diversified points. Um, so that way I'm kind of earning in all different spots. And I, you know, plan on going on some really good trips uh, here in the future. So I would like to just earn some Marriott Bonvoy points uh, just to see what, you know, what I can eventually redeem them at. It's my everyday gas card and, you know, pay it off as soon as I, as soon as I make the transaction. I do have a review on this card and uh, it is an unboxing as well. I'll leave it up in the, in the cards right there. Um, next is another card that I do have a review for as well and I will link it up in the cards with the American Express card as well and this is the card that I'm actually getting the most um, value out of at the moment and it is my Chase Inc. Business Preferred card and this card uh, earns me 3x at the moment uh, on my rent basically I'm paying all of my rents I have two rents that I pay uh, on this card and I pay it through plastic. And um, what I noticed just recently on one of my credit card statements is that plastic codes as business services. You know, what I, what I didn't realize was that my rent was getting 3X every time. So that is amazing. I actually love that because I'm earning a maximum value out of my ultimate rewards points. Uh, I'm also getting everything out of my travel. So whenever I go park in a parking lot and I have to pay for, you know, parking, I use my Inc. Business Preferred card and I'm getting 3X on just, you know, say it's $10 or something, at least I'm getting 3X on that. So that's always good. And also I use it for my internet, my cable, my streaming services, and my cell phone. So I'm getting 3X on all of those categories because they are considered uh, business categories. And the only reason why I say my streaming services like Hulu and Netflix uh, and Amazon Prime Video 
Uh, all of that stuff is considered something business apparently because when I look at my statements and I see a transaction from Hulu or I see a transaction from Netflix, you know, or Prime Video, basically uh, I'm seeing a 3X and I'm seeing triple points right next to the statement. One card that I will be using this month and I do not have it yet, it is coming in the mail. It is going to be my fifth card. Um, that I will be using obviously for the month of May and I might end up switching a lot of my spend on this card considering I'll be able to get 5% cash back uh, on it and be able to transfer the cash back to uh, ultimate rewards points is the Chase Inc. business cash card and so that earns 5x on select business categories similar to the Inc. preferred but you're getting 5x instead of 3x so I really uh, like that a lot even on my cell phone bill I can get 5x um, you know and when you think of your cell phone bill what that amounts to over the course of 12 months uh, that's pretty good earnings uh, in my opinion so uh, that will definitely help me build up my chase points uh, back up after I've just redeemed a few uh, on a couple of trips that I have planned for this year and that is a no annual fee business credit card and that comes with a $500 cashback bonus which translates into 50,000 ultimate rewards points when it's transferred to an ultimate rewards earning card like the uh, Chase Inc. Preferred, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, or the Chase Sapphire Preferred. So, you know, that's solid, especially only after spending 3,000 in three months. And if you break that down, that's about a thousand per month. And most people can spend that just by paying their bills. And if you're able to pay your rent, you know, like I am, then you are really able to meet that minimum spend really quick. It's, it's not a problem. Honestly, for me, I might be able to hit that minimum spend in like a week. And that'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know where you are with your credit and credit card journey. And also, if you have any of these cards, let me know what you like best about them. And if you don't and you might be considering them, let me know what's holding you back from even getting one of these cards. Don't forget to hit the bell notifications down the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit, is your life. Peace.